Alright users of YouTube, I'm here today with my MacBook and an external monitor and a mini DVI to VGA type cable. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you a really cool feature that I discovered today when I did a presentation for a really retarded class that I'm taking right now. It's called Career Options where we study all these different careers we can take. So, I'm just going to cool you some, show you some cool things that you can do using Keynote, a Mac, and an external monitor or projector. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my monitor to my MacBook. Alright, so the monitor is plugged into the MacBook, and your monitor will look something like this. So... What you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to System Properties under your Blue Apple. And you're going to get this System Properties screen. You're going to want to click on Displays. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Gather Windows. And this will bring up all your windows. And this is your external monitor display setting. So go and set that to your maximum resolution. So I can go ahead and exit out of that. Now what you're going to want to do is select arrangement. Uh, right now, as you can see, this is my MacBook monitor right here. And this should be my external monitor. So what I'm going to want to do is select my MacBook arrangement and drag these and move it relative to the MacBook. So, as you can see, by glancing, my MacBook monitor is a little lower than my than my external monitor. So I'm going to have that just a little lower. Or if your external monitor is on the other side, go ahead and click that and drag it over here. But that's not how I'm set up, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it right there. Then you're going to want to go ahead and exit out of system properties. Now if you see, let me see if you can zoom in, you see my cursor. If you move it across the screen, it will go off one screen, then appear on the other. Very neat. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up Keynote. I haven't actually bought in Keynote because my MacBook is less than 30 days old and I have experience between Keynote and PowerPoint. I'm finding I like Keynote a much better because PowerPoint takes hell long to load. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Alright, so you're going to actually want to change some of the default settings if you're using a projector and external monitor while you're doing your display. So in the default settings in Keynote you need to go bye bye. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to go Keynote and then go to Preferences, which I've already done. Now you're going to want to click on Presenter Display. And you're going to get a couple of these things. Now these are going to be showing on the display of your choice, which we'll get to in a minute. So what you can have, you can have all of these showing at once. You can have your current slide show, or your current slide, your new slide, notes, a clock, and a timer. So I don't need the notes because I haven't typed up any notes for my slide, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now you're going to want to go to slideshow. If you're working on a projector, and that's what the class is going to be looking at, or your whoever's watching your PowerPoint or your keynote presentation, you're going to want to change present on primary display to present on secondary display because your projector or your external monitor is going to be your secondary display. So I'm going to go ahead and change that right now. If you don't do that, you'll see what will happen in a minute. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to open up PowerPoint that I did for a class recently. I bullshitted in 15 minutes and still got 104%, so it's not that great. Okay, so the PowerPoint's opening up. It's 
also I did this PowerPoint on a graphic designer because we're studying different types of careers it can take. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. So you know that current slide and the next slide? That's what you're seeing right here. This is your current slide. This is your next slide. This is the clock and this is your timer. Once you press the first button that's when your timer is going to start. And here is what your audience will see on the projector or external display. So I'm going to go ahead and press the button so you see what happens and there's what it's going to say next. And next. And this is what your audience is seeing. So I'll sort of scoot back and show you the difference. And this is the difference from what you'll see and what your class will see. So you can be ready to talk about what you need to talk about next instead of waiting for that slide to come up and you talk. I found that very helpful. I really impressed my audience when I was able to read what was on the slide before the slide was actually up, or at least they could see it. So I got 104% on this, so not that bad. It was like 200 points as a semester final. That tells you how easy the class was. So this is some things you can do in Keynote. Impress your friends and convince them to buy a Mac because Macs kick ass. Thanks for watching. Good night.